Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to do a quick, quick tutorial. A topic you wanted me to remove a little bit of something from a license plate for some reason. So let's go do that. First step is we're going to download the image. Let's just make a folder on the desktop. But then we're going to open up Photoshop. We're going to drag it in. If this were a client, let's go see what he said. He's not exactly a client, but this happens with clients as well for quick little fixes. Trying to get rid of a line on this license plate. Perfect, we can do that. First, I'm gonna duplicate, so Control J. And you know what? Because this is so simple, he wants the lines at the top of this removed, probably on the sides and on the bottom. There's a little bit of a reflection down at the bottom here, but oh well. So honestly, the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the spot healing brush and I'm just gonna start swiping. So with the large bracket, I'm gonna make it bigger. And let's just see how the automation does. Just, this is super simple, so. Oh, it's gonna get some of the blue. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that a little bit differently. So Photoshop's super smart and this should be super easy. Yep, there we go. There's a little bit of a thing there. Oh yeah, that looks like brand new. It just is magic. It's gonna take like 45 seconds here. Good, that's done. So you'll see that it tries to do its best and you just have to be like, okay, I'm, I'm human and I know that this is, this is wrong. And so in those times you just fix it. Let's fix that too in this, just for fun. Okay, and now we're gonna go down the side here. As you can see, this is intense Photoshopping and I'm an expert. No, like in this case, this is one of the easiest things you can possibly do. So the spot healing brush is one of my favorite tools. I don't only use it oftentimes, like when I saw this license plate, I was thinking I was gonna have to do some clone stamping, but this brush makes your job so much easier. And if you're doing it as a favor, you want it to be done as fast as possible. And this is looking brilliant. I don't see why I would actually spend more time on this, unless it was gonna be on like a poster board or something way big but he didn't say that, so. Okay. This is most likely just gonna be printed off and people aren't gonna be looking for a Photoshop on this. It's a license plate, so yeah. Oftentimes with Photoshop, even if you are doing like an extreme Photoshop and it looks Photoshopped, then people don't really notice. P people don't, like when you're doing the edit, you're like, oh, people are gonna notice this. Now, most of the time people don't notice it because it looks real. Okay, cool. We're done, that was that. was that. Only took a few minutes. So I'm gonna save the PDF. These are my saving habits. So I'm going to just Control Shift S. I'm gonna save it as license plate. I don't even know why I'm doing this because I don't really need this file afterwards. But here's before and after. So that's before and after. That, yeah, pretty good. I'm not seeing any crazy stuff. One thing I could do if I wanted to spend the time on it, which I don't, is I could extend it. So that's another tutorial for another day. That's not necessarily worth my time right now because that's not what he asked for me to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna save it. So you could save for web, but I wanna give him an actual image that's good. So I'm gonna do Control Shift S once more and I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. I'm gonna call it license plate, edit. And we're gonna go progressive and make it a max file size. We're not really shying away from making it big. Okay, so now here we have the final product. Again, before, after. All right, hope you enjoyed. That's that. Check out these videos if you want. Otherwise, don't. Cheers, bye.